All right, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Guys Thompson. If you are new here, and today I'm doing another Q and A for you lot. Oh, there's one thing. Wait a sec. There's there's a couple things I've forgotten. I need a hat on because currently this is not okay. I need my phone. We're gonna change this up. We're gonna change this up and do something that I don't think a lot of people do. We're gonna do this Q and A. Nice hoodie, by the way, isn't it? But we're gonna do this Q and A. We're gonna do it topless, because it's just different, isn't it? Actually, I'm gonna move this to like here, hoping, in the hope that you can see it, because it's pretty awesome. Um, someone sent that to me, freaking cool. But anyway, let's get into the part that you came here for, is the question and answer section. So guys, on my last video that I uploaded, I said that I was gonna do a Q&A, and for a bunch of you, send your questions in on YouTube. I put it on Instagram as well, but we're gonna start out. Uh, we're gonna start from the ones from YouTube because it's rare that I do the ones on YouTube anyway because I never really get asked questions. Anyway, terrific vlog of the commitment and dedication required from you guys. How can you be so exhausted and still produce the necessary focus and concentration? Truth be told, it's like uh, it's like a momentum kind of thing. When you're in that kind of, when you're in that situation, I personally forget a lot of the time and it's kind of just muscle memory what we do a lot of the time anyway unless it's something new. So for me, keeping focus is probably the hardest thing because obviously when you are tired, focusing is it's tricky. Just got to be careful is, is my honest my honest answer to that, I'm careful when I realize that I'm losing focus. As usual, Jay, your, Jay, your vids are always interesting, innovative, and inspiring. Keep up the good work. Question for your Q&A. According to the previous vid, you indicated that this is your job. I am assuming you're paid to do gymnastics, yeah? How does this work for the Olympic Games uh, sports, which is supposed to be amateur sports, which is not being paid? Uh, do you have another job other than your gymnastics? All the best for you in your quest for success in gymnastics and your promising career in video production. Right, yeah, so when I say uh, I do gymnastics for a living and it's my job, it technically is because uh, I do get paid as so I do get paid to do gymnastics, but it's not a wage, it is a, it's funding. So we get funded by the National Lottery, which is UK, uh, and UK Sport. It goes through UK Sport to us. Uh, so it's not actually technically a wage. So we're not, I don't think we're deemed professional and that is why, you know, we can go through Olympics and gymnastics is an Olympic sport, but I do actually have a job outside of gymnastics now as I am I'm growing up guys and I do video production, video editing, post production stuff as a kind of like a hobby and a job, which is great because I love doing both um, and it's wicked to have two things that I love doing. After gymnastics, what future do you see yourself heading towards? Honestly, it's definitely going to be something involving sport and still gymnastics, still want to be involved in the sport and uh, like I just said, this is becoming a bit of a business and it's a hobby and a passion of mine, so definitely something in the realms of video, cameras, all that good stuff. Is there any home gymnastics training we can work on? And if so, can you make a video at home, uh, a gymnastics workout with Guy Thompson? There is a lot of stuff that you can do at home, uh, gymnastics wise. You just have to be careful. For me personally, I find it a bit scary uh, posting that type of stuff out on YouTube because I don't want to be liable to people hurting themselves because you have to you have to be careful when you try and gymnastics. It's, it is a dangerous sport and um, yeah, may maybe, maybe. If I get enough comments saying that people want this type of thing, then I will definitely consider giving you guys like a little workout thing at home. Does ice bath and sauna really work? for recovery uh, well it's, sci it's scientifically proven uh, oh my god I cannot speak it is scientifically proven that ice baths definitely help saunas help you sweat and kind of get out all the gunk and like lactic acid out of your body so I personally think it does help I like the sauna I personally hate ice baths like I hate them I do not like the cold is your training schedule put together by your coach or do you have a lot of input with it? In terms of hours, the coaches come up with the hours. At home, we do 12 till 4 normally or 11 till 3. The coaches come up with that and we kind of just have an input on what hours we would prefer to do. In terms of the program, it is... <clears throat> when you're younger, it's pretty much mainly the coach, but when you get a bit older, you grow a brain for yourself, it is, it is half and half, I'd say. With the crazy training schedule, is there any time for personal life? No. <laughs> There is time, but I put a lot of my spare time into this. Uh, my personal life is limited, but I do have a personal life, if that's what you're asking. What do you think of tattoos? What do I think of tattoos? I like them personally. I don't have any. I'm thinking about it, but it's one of those things I'm a very indecisive person and I get bored easily. That's why like, I always dye my hair and stuff like that. Um, so I get scared that if I have a tattoo, once I get it, I'll like it for about a week and then after that, I'll just absolutely be bored of it already. <laughs> But that's just me. I do like them though. That's it for the questions on YouTube. Let's go off to the right one. Oh, but look at this. I just posted this photo. Hello there. I hope it focuses. Damn good photo there. <laughs> I've had a question from my uh, from my coach, Scott Han. Today's Saturday. Are you training tomorrow? Tomorrow's Sunday. Um, <sighs> 
It's a tough question, Scott. I guess you'll find out on the day. Where'd you get that yellow hoodie from? Someone sent me it. What's the strangest color you've dyed your hair? Honestly, right now, this color. It may not pick up on camera. It's ever so slightly blue, and the sides have gone a little bit orange. That's why I'm wearing a hat. Harry Potter or Star Wars? Both. Where do you expect to be in three years' time? In a mansion, hopefully. Who do you prefer, Bryn or Nile? Neither. <laughs> I'm joking. Both of them are my best pals. Can you show your feet, please? No. Where do you see yourself in five years? In a bigger mansion. Do you think it's possible to get yourself back into gymnastics once you've been out, out of it a while? Definitely, 100% it's possible. I was out of gymnastics for about two years, back in 2014, 2015, through uh, dislocating my elbow and snapping to, it's literally everything off of it. And then the year after that, literally to the day pretty much, I snapped my Achilles. I was out for two years due to these injuries and I came back. So if you have the drive and the passion to do it, 100%, you can do it. But it's the best advice I can give you on that. How tall are you? I am not sure. <laughs> I'm either 5'7 or 5'8, I have no idea. Are you happy where you are at this point in your life? I'm happy, but I'm not content, which means I want more. Basically, in a gist, I want more, I want to be. I want to go further, you know what I mean. What is your biggest achievement in gymnastics? Definitely winning gold at uh, the Junior Europeans on pommel horse and retaining the title. That was a great one. And team gold, obviously, and silver on floor. Um, yeah, they were pretty good achievements. How are you going to celebrate when you reach 50,000 subscribers? I have no idea, but I'm going to make it big. Maybe? All right, last question of the day. If you were stranded on a desert island, what three things could you not live without? My phone, my camera, and Pepsi. <laughs> uh, well, that's the end of today's q and I hope you enjoyed it. Not entirely sure how long it is, but there it is, guys. Thank you, everyone, for sending in your questions. I know I didn't answer all of them, but I try to answer as many as I can every single time. I'm going to be trying to do this more often because we've got a nice little set, and I enjoy it. It gives me a good time to interact with you guys. So, with that being said, like, comment. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and I really hope I get there, and I need your help. I might even plan something big for that for you guys. Anyway, you know what to do. Make every day count, and enjoy life. I'll see you in the next one. Plus, who does Q&As? Topless, do you know what I mean? You should definitely subscribe. <laughs>